Hey all, Russ here over your TV, welcome. Check it out. We are here in Monument Valley, Utah. Had a great little stay there at the KOA. I definitely would recommend her. Quite a few tent campers, it was amazing. Scenic turnouts, next 12 miles. This is uh, where all the big, what they called it, world's largest outdoor museum of rock sculptures, huh? <laughs> Absolutely stunning. The only thing is we got cloud cover. Nothing I can do about that. So we just got to make the best of it. If you think of the history, how many people through the centuries have come through here and looked at the same formation, same beauty. Of course, they weren't in a van with a GoPro, huh? <laughs> Look at that, isn't that majestic? Wow. Well, let's find us a little turnout and I see one right here, yay. Let me get pulled in here and we'll check it out. Incredible. Boy, it's a busy road here. Even with the clouds, if that would have been a sunrise, even a sunset, still pretty no matter what. This is one of these little uh, vending areas for the natives, Native Americans. Boy, they sell some nice jewelry, all kinds of artifacts, cool stuff. A lot of tourists come through here. Well, up the road somewhere is that Forest Gump Hill or whatever they call it. We're going to go find it on our way to, out of here. Okay, this is Highway 163. Go up far enough, it cuts into 191, I believe. The goals get up to Moab, Utah. Cool. You know, there's names for these uh, little mountain sculptures. A lot of maps. Several campgrounds around here. I was looking at it online last night. I didn't realize there was that many around. Picture perfect. What a postcard picture that would make, huh? Okay, looks like we're getting out of them. Now somewhere up this direction should be the Forest Gump Hill. Pretty cool they name a hill after a movie, huh? But what an iconic movie. I, I seen it years ago. I, I'm not sure when they made that movie. It had to be back, what, in the 90s or something. Look how they cut the road right through the rock here. This is snow country, too. It's it cold and snowy up here. A lot of road construction through here, utility work. I keep seeing uh, scenic turnout signs, but I don't think that's the Forrest Gump ones. It's got to be a little farther out. You can't see what I'm seeing in the rear view mirror, but it's starting to look like that movie. <laughs> when you look back down towards the mountains. It's got to be up here a little farther.
Hey, hey, I see a sign. What's it say? One mile, Forest Gump Hill. <laughs> we made it. We got here. Look at that. They're slowing down the speed limit, too. Down to 45. Watch for pedestrians. A lot of people stop here, like me and you. <laughs> Well, I think it's any of these turnouts. There's a van parked up here. I want to go up a little farther. I can always turn around and come back if I miss it. That sign said a mile. We haven't gotten quite a mile. I say this one right here. We did it. Here you go. Little Forrest Gump time. Well, hopefully I'll get run over. <laughs> Another one of them little shacks. There you go. From the movie. I'm done running. I'm going to turn around and go home. <laughs> kind of feel nervous standing in the middle of this highway. But isn't that cool? There it is. Forrest Gump Hill. We made it. Right here on RV or TV. Think of all the camera crews and film crews and when they shot that movie. Wow, what a view up here. Looking right back down at the valley. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely incredible. As far as you can see. I'm glad I came up through that way. What a neat experience driving through Monument Valley. Like I said, it been a lot of years and really didn't remember it. Close to 30 years ago, I drove through here. And there was no Forest Gump Hill. <laughs> so, hey, if you get a chance, check this out. Monument Valley, Utah. Well, we say let's keep on trucking. According to the phone, not too far up the road here is a town called Mexican Hat. It's supposed to have a really cool uh, flat rock formation. We'll check that out too. Darn clouds. I thought that storm would have gone away after la yesterday. Boy, did I hit some rains. If you get a chance, see that video from yesterday. My goodness. The roads were flooding. That was monsoon time. Okay, we're dropping downhill here. Looks like uh, this might be it. I think we're here. Mexican hat, we made it. Oh wow, a little river here. Let's see what the sign says. San Juan River. Wow, look at that motel right there in the water's edge, yeah. Cafe, motel, yurt. Rent a yurt. <laughs> Quite a bit of water in there, but with all the monsoon rains, I could see why. Mm -hmm. 
That is quite a rock cliff here you go up. They just cut that road right through here, didn't they? Mexican hat, not really sure what's here. We're gonna find out, hopefully a gas station. I need to get some fuel. Looks like another motel for all the travelers. Yeah, that's a big motel. Grab some fuel real quick. 549 for that good stuff. Old wagons. This is just an old rustic, old western themed town. And that's it. There ain't much here. Gas station, few motels. Gotta be for all the tourists through Mo Monument Valley, huh? I'm sure there's like hunting. You know, Lake Powell is off, be, let's see, off to our west. I guess northwest a little bit. Okay, out this direction should be the flat rock, the actual Mexican hat rock. We're going to go find it. Everything's so red. I mean, the soil's red. Hills are red. Rocks. Red dirt everywhere. You can see it. It's off to the right. Let me find a place to pull off. The dash came in getting it. There's the sign, Mexican hat rock. Cool. Well, as good as any. Grab the phone here so I can zoom in a little bit. It's quite a ways out there. Check out how that, doesn't it look like it could just flip off there? <laughs> There it is, Mexican Hat Rock. Now that is cool. Probably been like that for thousands of years, huh? That's something. Power poles, there's a campground. Check out this sign. Hat Rock Camping. You pay online. <laughs> Probably dry camping. That'd be cool. Camp next to the Mexican Hat Rock. What a huge open vast area look how red it you know this is typical utah there's highway 163 looking back down towards mexican hat the town way out there's the mountains of monument valley the world's largest outdoor museum See all the formations in the soil? Even with the cloud cover, you can see it pretty good. And that's the direction we're going. We're heading up towards Moab. What a fun trip through here. You got to do it. Put this on the list. Miles wise, it's not very far driving down through in here. But boy, you talk about some scenic views and just some cool things to 
explore. This is it. And there's still formations. Have to come back in here sometime, maybe next year. Because I'd really like to get over to Lake Powell, explore that upper part of it before the lake is totally gone. But on this trip, we're just gonna keep on marching. There's supposed to be a really historic town up here called Bluff. Bluff, Utah. It's supposed to have an old fort kind of stuff. Petroglyphs at a park. There's supposed to be a uh, BLM camp area with petroglyphs. So we're only getting started. Journey continues. Talk soon.